Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly. So I have here a Vauxhall Vivaro, but it is a Citroen Dispatch Peugeot. Can't remember. Peugeot Expert. That's the one I was thinking for. But it's um, this is the Vauxhall badge one, so it makes it uh, very difficult to um, diagnose because a lot of the diagnostic machines struggle to access a lot of the ECU on these vans. So the customer's complaint is he's back and forward to garages with the same repeated faults. So the engine RPMs increase and they come down and then they'll increase again. And he keeps getting oil dilution. He's had the oil changed like eight times in the last few months, basically. So he wants to know how he can get it resolved. Okay, I'm gonna use the launch. I think this is the Pro 3, I can't remember. Um, right, so I'll put a link where, the, where I got this from in the video description. We have P119F, deterioration of the engine oil. Okay, now, so you have to bear with me. I've literally just plugged it in. We've we've got the code up, and I've noticed that I haven't really made any videos on these, so I thought, well, I'll record it and see, show people what, what the issue is. I keep seeing customers with these issues sort of going, to, going repetitively over and over to mechanics, and they're all just saying, let's change the oil, let's do this, let's reset that, let's chuck a sensor on it. So hopefully, by me sharing my knowledge, um, it just helps people stop wasting time and money. Okay, so I've got a couple of suspicions what this can be, but we're gonna go in now and see if we can find live data. Hopefully we can, because some of these do struggle, like I said. I didn't know as we were plugging it in, it doesn't, it doesn't recognize being a Vauxhall. It says this vehicle isn't found, it doesn't want to know, so we've come in as a Peugeot. Now we're gonna go to data stream. And we will look at exhaust line information too first. Let's just select everything. So we're just looking for any sort of anything that looks out of the out of the normal. So the distance travelled between the last ten regenerations is twenty four kilometers. So there, I have my answer straight away. Um, if it's regenerating every twenty four kilometers, we've probably got a damaged DPF. Now that is surprising because it's only done fifty thousand miles. Um, Let's see if we can see the millibars of pressure. 13 millibars of pressure. So the DPF is blocked. Now it's done a region sort of 20 kilometers ago. So it's saying here. So that would say to me that the DPF is damaged. And that would mean that it's a waste of time me trying to clean it because if it's regened that much that, that recently, then we are looking at a waste of time really. So yeah, well I wanted to go a little bit more in detail with that, but we've sort of got an answer there straight away for it. Let's see if we can see... We'll go through all the rest of the system and see if we can see anything else. It's acting a bit slow, this one, today. Uh, exhaust line information one, let's see what's in here. Now to confirm this, I'll try if I can sort of connect up a manometer and confirm that the sensor... It could be that the DPF pressure sensor is reading that it's at 14 millibars which would be sort of asking the van to do a regen when it in fact doesn't need one so but it that's not really really common i'd say it's just trying to regen and the dpf it just isn't the pressure isn't coming down there's two reasons that can happen if you've got high mileage over 120,000, it's probably ash build up which is sort of like a charcoal that builds up in the dpf and that cannot be cleaned so it increases the pressure of the dpf secondly if you've got low mileage like this one most likely you've had a fault i had a transit like this yesterday exactly the same scenario he had a fault someone he was driving it around for sort of six months because no one could fix it and then he went into one garage they replaced the sensor and then pressed fourth regen after he'd done the fourth regen the vehicle was then regenerating every sort of 15 miles the customer could notice that it was regenerating because he could smell it and the revs were increasing so what what I think happened there was he's he's been driving around for six months, he's got a DPF full of soot, they've pressed force regen, it's like chucking a match to a 45 gallon drum of petrol, you're just going to get an explosion of heat and either melt, damage the DPF. So yeah, we're going to get outside, I'll see if I can sort of show you some other tests that I can confirm that, that the live data is correct on this. Um, so. I've seen this 
almost on a daily basis that people are changing their oil, changing their oil repeatedly. Uh, if I didn't already explain it, what's happening is the vehicle is regenerating every 25 kilometers. And what people I always hear is, oh, when the regeneration fails, all of that diesel gets dumped into the oil. That's not what happens. If your vehicle is regenerating every 500 miles, you know, you've got a, a say a 10,000 mile service interval, your oil gets changed, that's all reset. If your vehicle is re regenerating every 25 kilometers, you've done 500 miles and your, your, your vehicle has regened probably 50 times. So each time the vehicle does a regen, you get a couple of millimeters of uh, milliliters of oil, fuel go into your oil. When that's happening, you know, 10 times a day, you're then all of those those little bits of fuel are adding up so your oil level starts to increase that's when you get this fault lugged off okay so dpf pressure sensor is there it's the 1.5 engine i think so it's the newer uh, hdi engine okay so digital manometer connected up to the pipe where we've removed the dpf pressure sensor is reading 13.8 so it's an exact match to what's reading up on the launch computer in there so we know the sensor isn't bad and we've definitely got high pressure within the dps now the likeliness of cleaning that is the, the successful rate of cleaning that is going to be very very low so unfortunately that means this vehicle now needs a replacement dpf to fix the fault i mean you could try to clean it but the likeliness is if it's regenerating that often and the pressure is still high it's not it's not going to work so I hope I've explained that well enough in easy terms so you understand what I'm talking about. This is one of the lads here, Johnny, he's coming to learn a bit today. <laughs> he's camera shy. <laughs> so that's it, see you on the next video.